Anthony from Hassersnet here, and today we're looking at the Elite Seekers 2-pack of Ramjet and Dirge. And uh, the box is, uh, you know, a little bit of everything on here. So, let's uh, pull these guys out. Now, they do come in a, in a plastic blister. Uh, however, it's such a pain in the butt, I figured I would just remove it. So I can just pull these guys out and show you. Now, um, one of those little things that you get when you buy the thinner, non-special edition boxes, you get one of those little fields. You, of course, get some instructions. And then you get one of those little white paper things that say, don't swallow small parts. But we'll put these aside for now. And as you can see, Ram, Jet, and Dirge are pretty much the same figure. And I assume Thrust... Uh, will be uh, a similar as well. And uh, the only difference really other than color is the wings. So I only need to show you one of the transformations for you to understand the transformation of both. Now, if you have any of the previous Seekers, Starscream, Thundercracker, or Skywar, it is a fairly similar transformation. So let's pick the one that will be easier to see in camera. So we'll pick Ramjet and we'll put the Dirge out in the distance. So, as you see, they each come with two cannons, or guns, or however you want to call them. So, we'll just put them aside. And the transformation is, is, is actually fairly intuitive, because if you see in the back, you can see where everything just connects together. So, what we'll do first is the legs. Uh, the legs open up in front like this, for the goal of sliding the legs back to meet the back. But... The kicker is you got to also get the arms into a place where you can fold them in once you pull the cone out. So I feel like the easiest approach here is let's start with the arms. And uh, there's a piece here that slides forward. And you kind of have to hold this arm to pull it forward. And then what happens is there's a little arm piece here. It, you have to keep it in place because it forces the hand up, which you do, you fold like this. And just keep it there for a sec. Do the same thing to the other side. Make sure the uh, little piece inserts in there to push the arm out, or the hand out. And then, of course, close it up. There you go. And uh, so once you have that done, you can pull the chest forward. And by pulling the chest forward, it pushes down the waist. So. If you can do both kind of simultaneously, it's a little less pressure on the plastic here. So as you see, it's basically this piece here. You pull it out. Now, at this point, the back piece that, uh, as you see, is back here on the other is uh, kind of just hanging there because it connects. So you can connect it and then rotate it. And I'll show you from here. And then just snap it into place. So far, so good. You can already Again, you can already see what's happening here. So with the hands, you want to fold the arms in. Make sure everything's t uh, up in place. And the torso, or the chest plate, I guess, closes back in on it. Okay. So once you've done that, you can push the legs forward. Again, making sure these pieces are out. And you just slide the legs in. And can connect them if you wish there's tabs in here more tabs and once you have that you close the waist put this down and you can lower the wings so once you've done that you slide this piece down and finish off the tip of the wings and just fold everything make sure everything's flat and then <laughs> First off, this freaking looks awesome. But second, then you can attach the guns to the underwing, which I guess at that point makes them cannons. I don't know. How do we define what these things are once they're on the, the ship? Now, uh, as you see from the bottom, uh, there's a little ex open exposed part. This is not landing here. This is the little point that connects the cone to the head, I guess. And uh, don't forget to do this. Uh, you know, don't forget to close the feet. Because that finishes off the afterburner. But uh, here, here we go from the side. From the front. From the back. 
Now, he looks cool. Don't get that wrong. It's just uh, no landing gear. Like, as you see, he's kind of aiming up. And uh, it, it, he's, he's back heavy is what that is. And uh, if we go with Dirge, you see it's the same exact transformation. And we'll do it really quick. But uh, again, start with arms. I'm gonna go real fast. Don't want to miss it. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna go real fast. It's not letting me do super fast. Oh, apparently, if I go fast, nothing wants to work correctly. I should mention that this little point here, the piece, will actually try to get in the way. So you really gotta mitigate it out of the way. Again, pull the chest out and down. You see the waist open, head up, or go ahead and flip that. Again, match it up on the back here. Fold the arms in. Close the top back up. Fold the leg. Oh, make sure this flaps up. Fold the legs in. Okay, now close the flap and then make sure to put the legs together. Oops, might be easier to see from this side. There you go. Make sure it slides in there. Everything's in place. Legs are done. Close there. Push these things back down. Close the feet. Add the cannons. Uh, of course, you can add the cannons anywhere you want. There's different places. Uh, up here. Back here, if you want to put one up there. I mean, other module bits. To, to show you what he looks like. From the front. From the side. From the back. He is also, of course, back heavy. But, I mean, here they are. Ramjet and Jerge complicated in any way but they, they look pretty freaking cool I, I think that they look better than the uh, Tetra Jets by far and look better than the regular Seekers I really like the, the just the accurate detailing it's very nice uh, hopefully Thrust will present a, a similar image obviously he'll have those those like either depending on which version like a separate jet on top of his wing or I'll have an embedded wing like the classic version sort of like what uh, Windblade has but looking forward to that so thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you for checking out our content before you leave please remember to click like and then subscribe if you want to receive notifications do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell then afterwards check out our social media at hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net